I'm Juan Mulan. I will bring honor to us all. With Disney's live action remake of Mulan, released in March 2020, we're delving into the true story of the famous Chinese warrior. We also reveal how this latest movie version brings back an intriguing female character from earlier versions of the tale. Keep watching to the end to discover Mulan's real love interest. Spoiler alert, it's not Li Shang. Would you like to stay for dinner? Would you like to stay forever? Most of us know Mulan from the 1998 Disney animated feature, but was the character based on a historical figure or was she totally made up? The woman called Hua Mulan became famous through a tale called The Ballad of Mulan. She was a Chinese warrior during the Northern and Southern dynasties. That dates way back to the 5th and 6th centuries, sometime between the years 420 and 589. Since the tale of Mulan is so ancient, we can't be certain about her origins. It is possible that she really did exist in real life, but it's mainly thought that Mulan's story is fictional. Either way, her tale became an important part of Chinese folklore, and there are some important differences between that original tale and the Disney movie we all know. My father cannot fight, so I will take his place. In the 1998 animation, Mulan is an only child. She talks about having a little brother, but that turns out to be her dog. In the original poem, Hua Mulan has an actual human brother. He can't serve in the army in place of their father, however, because he is too young. The stories do have the important plot line in common that the men are being asked to defend China, and Mulan's dad is too old and sickly to serve in the Chinese army. But there's an important difference between the Disney version and the original. In the cartoon, Mulan's family members do not want her to take her father's place. However, in the ballad, Mulan takes her father's place in the army with her parents' blessing. She even leaves for the battlefield carrying a sword that she inherited from her ancestors. That's a major difference between the two renditions. The Disney movie plays a lot on what Mulan's father thinks a daughter should do and how a young woman can bring honor or dishonor to her family. That's not the only major difference either. But if you I know my place. It is time you learned yours. In the Disney animation, Mulan has no idea what she's doing when she joins the army. Sure, she's a fast learner and soon becomes the best recruit in the training camp. She impresses Li Shang by reaching the top of the pole and learning combat skills. But she certainly starts off green. That's what we would expect of the character given that she's been trained to be a good wife and nothing else. However, in the original tale, Mulan was already a good fighter when she joined the army. In fact, she'd been trained in various combat skills. These include archery, martial arts, and sword fighting. She was such a successful fighter, in fact, that Mulan was promoted to general after 10 years on the battlefield. She was offered an official post, but wanted to go back to her family instead. Khan, let's go home. <laughs> First up, there's Mulan's family. In this 1695 version, Mulan has sisters and no brother. In fact, she has a baby son. That's a pretty big plot change. She still takes her father's place in the army, but she's not the only woman who is fighting in the war. The king has another daughter called Chang Yang, and she is also a warrior. Chang Yang is very pleased to have another female warrior alongside her. The pair become Lao Tong. This is a relationship in Chinese culture where two women are bonded together for eternity as kindred sisters. Interestingly, in Disney's 2020 live action remake of Mulan, she has a sister, and there is also another female warrior called Chiang Yang or Chiang Lang. But these two women aren't Lao Tong, quite the opposite, really. I knew there was something wrong with you. A woman. <gasps> In the 1998 animation, Shan Yu is Mulan's enemy. He's the leader of the Huns, who are invading China. But in the 2020 live-action remake, Bori Khan is the invader, and he's the main villain alongside Chiang Yang, who is described as a sorceress or a witch. She can transform herself into an eagle. That bird connection gives her something in common with Shan Yu, but Chiang Yang most certainly isn't a kindred sister of Mulan's, like she is in the 1695 version of the tale. Rather than refer to the Huns, the trailer for this new movie refers refers to Northern Invaders. This is much more in keeping with the original Mulan legend. In this ancient tale, the Chinese army is sent to protect the country against invaders from the nomadic Ruron Kaganate. It's thought that Bori Khan could belong to this Kaganate, and that would mean the 2020 version of the story is a closer retelling of the actual legend than the 1998 animation. 
Every family must contribute one man to fight. In the 1998 animated movie, Mulan has three animal sidekicks. There's Mushu, the dragon, and there's Kriki, the cricket, and there's Khan, the horse. Unsurprisingly, in the original tale about Mulan, there are no talking dragon friends. And in the 2020 remake, there is no Mushu. That's another reason why film critics are claiming that this new version is aiming to be more authentic to the original Chinese poem, The Ballad of Mulan, and also more authentic to Chinese culture in general. But in the original tale, there was a horse, and that animal played a rather symbolic part when the emperor wants to reward Mulan after another heroic triumph all she asks for is a horse and that's because she wants to ride home to her family her identity as a woman has been revealed and she's ready to be with her father again this masquerading as a man is a key plot point that appears in all versions of Mulan's tale because Ping did steal my group yes my name is Ping let me see your conscription notice all the tales of Mulan agree that she goes undercover as a man to serve in the army. She takes the place of her father, who is too old and frail to fight for China. The names she takes on vary though. She's Ping in Disney's 1998 version and Hua Jun in the 2020 remake. In addition, how her true identity is revealed, plus her fellow soldiers' reaction to the revelation that she's really a woman, also vary in the different tellings. In the original tales, Mulan chooses a traditionally female clothing as she goes onto the battlefield. She wants her fellow soldiers to realize her true identity as a woman, and the soldiers react with respect and admiration. They're impressed by her bravery, grace, and wisdom, and she inspires them to win the difficult battle. In the 1998 animation, however, it's when Mulan is injured that her true identity identity is accidentally uncovered. Li Shang is disgusted, and Mulan has to work hard to regain the respect of her fellow soldiers. You said you'd trust Ping. Why is Mulan any different? <laughs> To go back to our original questions, could Mulan really have existed? It might sound far-fetched for there to have been a woman undercover in the Chinese army thousands of years ago. However, we can't dismiss the possibility that she did exist historically. After all, elite women and female warriors did indeed play a role in ancient Chinese military history. During China's Warring States period, which took place a few hundred years before Christ, the chief military commander trained 180 court women to assert military and political influence in the surrounding states. And Princess Ping Yang raised troops to help her father seize the throne. He became the Emperor Gaozu, and he established the Tang Dynasty with his daughter's support. She became the only woman of that period to receive the honor of a military funeral. In the 1998 Disney version of the story, Mulan returns home victorious. She's brought honor to her family. Her father welcomes her with open arms, and Li Shang follows her back. We see in the sequel that the couple get there happily ever after. But what about the original tale and the variations that follow? Well, it's not quite such a happy ending. Many versions end with Mulan returning home to discover that her father has passed away. Instead of feeling like a hero, she feels like she lost the person she loved most in the world. The folktale versions of Mulan's history also depict her as being haunted by her experiences on the battlefield. In the most negative of all the tellings, Mulan feels so lonely and misunderstood, she takes her own life. In the 1695 Sui Tang romance version, Mulan isn't a victorious army general being rewarded by the emperor. The king is actually taken down, and Mulan, along with the king's daughter Chang Yang, surrender. They offer up their lives in place of the condemned men. They are spared, however, and the emperor's mother gives Mulan money for her parents. Again though, her father has passed away in her absence. In this version, her mother has remarried. Mulan is ordered to become a concubine, so she takes her own life. We want to finish on a positive note, and that means zooming in on Mulan's love life. In Disney's 1998 animation, Captain Li Shang and Mulan fall in love. They form a close bond when she's posing as the male soldier Ping, and it turns into romance at the end. In the original tale, however, Mulan falls in love with an officer called Jin Yong. The legend says that when Jin Yong learns that Mulan's a woman, he becomes more attached to her. In many versions of the tale, they both dream about getting married. What about the 2020 remake? There's no Li Shang, we're sorry to say. The matchmaker has found you an auspicious match. It is decided. 
Mulan does have a love interest, however, but this time around, he's called Chen Honghui. Rather than falling for her captain, Mulan develops a relationship with a fellow recruit. Chen Honghui has been described as ambitious and competitive with Mulan, and he falls in love with Mulan after he discovers she's a woman. And that's a wrap on the true story behind Mulan. Do you think this fierce warrior existed for real? Tell us your theories in the comments section. Give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be the first to watch our latest videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on The Things.